the fifth problem root 2 x plus root 2 root 3 y is equal to 0 is the first equation and the second equation is root 3 x minus root 8 y is equal to 0 now from the equation 1 okay what is the first equation uh, root 2 x plus root 3 y is equal to 0 let us subject x means you keep root 2 x here only and send root 3 y to RHS, then we get root 3 minus root 3 y. Then x is equal to minus root 3 y by 2. So this is the value of x. Let us take the equation 3. Now substitute x is equal to minus root 3 y by 2 in the equation 2. So in the equation 2, now we get root 3 into what is the x value? x value is minus root 3 y by 2 minus root 8 y is equal to 0. Now, let us simplify this. Here minus we can write at starting and root 3 into root 3 is 3. 3 y by 2 minus root 8 y by y is equal to 0. Now, let us take y common from these two numbers minus 3 by 2 minus root 8 y is equal to 0. Now, this can be written as this is equal to here, once you look at this, here actually there is root 2, root 3 by root 2. Okay? Now, here we will get minus 3 minus 3 minus root 2 into root 8 is root 16 by root 2 into y is equal to 0. Now, look at this. Here, y is equal to 0 into this fraction minus 3 minus root 16. Actually, this can be, uh, it becomes reciprocal if you take to RHS. Means, this will be 0 into root 2 by minus 3 minus root 16 can be written as minus 4. y is equal to 0 into root 2 by minus 7. So, actually, you know that 0 into anything is 0. So, y value is also 0. Here we get now. So, y value is 0. Now, this value, y value we can substitute. Substitute y is equal to 0 in the equation 3. Okay. So, uh, then we get this implies. Now, substitute this y value 0 in the equation 3. Then we get x is equal to minus root 3 into y 0 by 2 okay as i told you already something into 0 is 0 0 by 2 is 0 x is also 0 therefore x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 this is the solution for the given equation okay now look at the sixth problem here we have two solutions here there are denominators to avoid the denominators and to get the linear form of the equation means without a denominator we have to get the equation without two denominators we have to multiply the entire equation with 6 why because here the denominators are 2 and 3 what is the LCM of 2 and 3? 6 so let us multiply this equation entire equation with 6 6 into 3 by 2 minus 6 into 5 by 3 y is equal to 6 into minus 2. Then we get 2, 3, 9x minus 3, 2, 10 y is equal to minus 6 into minus 2, minus 2. This is the first equation. Okay? We modified the given equation. Here we have the denominators. So, the denominators are 2 and 3. Their LCM is 6. So, I multiplied the entire equation with each and every term of the equation with 6. 6 into 3 by 2x. 6 into 5 by 3, 6 into minus 2. Then we get the equation like this. Let us take that is the first equation. Now this one. Here also, let us multiply this equation with 6. Why? Because here also the denominators are 3, 2 and 6. The answer means 6 only. So 6 into x by 3 plus 6 into y by 2, 6 into 13 by 6. Now this is equal to, we can write 3 to the 2, 3 is a, here 6 is cancelled. So we get 2x plus 3y is equal to 
13. This is the second equation. Actually, the two given equations are in, a, in the complex form means they are uh, there are some denominators. So we modified the equations like this by multiplying 6 with each and every term of the equations. Now let us solve these two equations. Okay, can I erase this problem, fifth problem? Okay, now we have to solve these two equations. Let us rewrite those two equations. What are they? 9x minus 10y is equal to 12. Minus 12. And 2x plus 3y is equal to 13. These are the equations. Actually, these are not the given equations. He has given like this. I modified into this form. Now, from 1. From 1. 9x minus 10y is equal to minus 12. Then 9x is equal to minus 12. If you take minus 10 by that side, then x is equal to minus 12 plus 10y you can be written as 10y minus 12. So by 9. So substitute, let us take this is 3. Substitute x is equal to 10y minus 12 by 9 in equation 2. So so let us continue here. This next step is this one. Now, in the equation 2, if you substitute 2 into, what is the x value? 2x plus 3y, what is the x value? x can be taken as 10y minus 12 whole by 9, okay, plus 3y is equal to 30. Now, 2 into 10, 20y, 2 into 24 plus 3y is it? actually let us um, directly we can do it the denominator is 9 so in order to remove the denominator let us multiply the entire equation with 9 so 9 into 2 into 10y minus 12 by 9 9 into 3y 9 into 13 so we get 9 9 may be cancelled 2 times 20y minus 2 12 24 9 3 is a 27 y okay and 9 13 is 170. Now look at this 20y plus 27y is 47y. Okay. And this is this is 24. Now 47y 117 plus 24. 47y is equal to now 141. Okay. Now y is equal to 141 by 47. Okay, now 47 3 is 141. Therefore, y is equal to 3. Let us substitute this y value in the equation 3. From 3, substitute. Let us write like this. Substitute y is equal to 3 in the equation 3. Now, we get x is equal to 10 into y value 3 minus 12 by 9. 10 region 30 minus 12 by 9. 30 minus 12 is 18 by 9. We get 2. Therefore, here we get x value. Therefore, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. Okay, these are the values of x and y. x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3 is the solution of this two equations okay now so in the next class by using this substitution method we are going to solve some problems that is word problems okay uh, some problems from the daily life anyway we are not going to draw the graphs uh, in this session so let us continue in the next class thank you have a nice day